Hey, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another video with Muslima in Solace, aka Salwa. Um, today we're going to be doing a Japanese sweet treat taste test. There's loads of these going around on YouTube, but the difference is this one is aimed at Muslims because this is going to be a halal edition, inshallah. A bit of background, I absolutely adore Japanese snacks um, from when I was first introduced to them back in the early 2000s uh, when my brother visited and lived in Japan for a few years and he used to send us over lots of snacks and treats and sweets and loads of kawaii, kawaii. stationery and all sorts and absolutely loved it. Also, just a side note, um, from some feedback from my previous videos, I will be, when I say an Arabic or Islamic phrase, I will be putting it on the screen, what it is, and then what it is in English. Um, so rather than me interchanging it while I'm recording, inshallah, um, and hopefully that people find that beneficial. So the company that I actually purchased these um, snacks and sweets from, I've bought from them a few times. They are called Tofu cute and they're on uh, online and they have the permanent store in Portsmouth and they also have pop-up shops come up and about around the country and um, throughout the year and their website is www.tofucute.com um, really really easy to use the website uh, I will throw in a little uh, screen capture here of me accessing the website so you can see what's on there it's so cute it's so kawaii <laughs> it's really really stereotypically cute Japanese um, and it's so colorful and pastel and lovely and I thought I would match the aesthetic of the Japanese snacks <laughs> and this website by wearing a pink jilbab as well so I think I might have overdone it with um, buying from this website <laughs> went a bit crazy but this is the package here you can see the name on there, so be cute. Um, and yes, this is very full. Um, and the reason being is because I want to try some of these on camera, inshallah. And also, some of this will be part of the giveaway, which I will be explaining towards the end of the video. Um, some of this will be included with some other bits and pieces, and I will outline the rules, how to participate in the giveaway, um, the instructions will be down in the description anyway, and um, when the giveaway will close etc, I'll include all of that stuff at the end. Also another added bonus as well, um, Tofu Cute were very very kind enough to um, give me my own discount code, so it will be Muslima in Solace as it is here, and I'll include that in the description as well. You would just need to add that at um, checkout, like any other discount or voucher, um, and you'll get 10% off uh, not only your first purchase, I believe you can use it several times. The only thing is that it's only valid until the, I think it's the 7th of February, but I will put that down below as well. But um, yeah, if you're interested in trying anything that I've tried or anything else, then inshallah stay tuned to the end. Right, so this is the first time I opened the box and it is so colourful and definitely so kawaii. <laughs> so they've included this little wow. pamphlet here. I told I wore this quite a while ago and I've forgotten what I actually purchased but yeah, it's very full. <laughs> so it's double of everything so I can try some and then inshallah send some to you guys as well. That is these. Um, they are so cute the packaging, <laughs> I absolutely love it. And it's a, a, a company called Tahato um, and it's caramel corn. It's a very unusual concept but it actually works really well. And I've already tried this one which is the classic peanut flavour. There's a peanut on there. So if you've got peanut allergy, this is not going to work for you. And um, it's just so quiet, so cute and it tastes really good. Um, one that I haven't tried though is this one and although it's all completely in Japanese on the website on Tofu Cute they do actually list the English and say that it is suitable vegetarian and the flavour and details etc 
and this one's actually called strawberry milk um i've never tried it because i think just the idea of it kind of puts me off of it completely um yes and as i briefly mentioned the good thing about making too much noise um the good thing about the website is that they when you do select japanese snacks it will show you um towards the at the bottom there is a tab which says vegetarian section um, and then when you select that it will come up with all the products that are definitely certified for vegetarian it is kind of difficult um obviously as muslims it's not that we are vegetarian it's just that we can only have halal um which means that we can have fish and there are a lot of items on the website that um have fish in them shellfish etc um which vegetarians can't have so it's not labeled as vegetarian on that section of the website um, but we can have it so it is kind of a bit of trial and error and I have been buying Japanese snacks online for a few years and it is always been a trial and error if I've got anything and it's like oh no I can't have that I have to end up giving it away or sending it back um, so I've kind of found the things that have kind of worked um, that may have fish in them that don't have any meat products don't have any alcohol in them um, the biggest issue that um, I've come across and I've contacted people who have halal shops in uh, Japan is shortening because um, classically shortening what should I say traditionally <laughs> shortening is was deemed as lard nowadays it's not lard it's actually um, I think it's hydron hydro that was it, hydronated vegetable oil um, or margarine basically, which is super unhealthy. Um, but it does mean that you can have it um, if you're on a vegetarian diet or halal diet. Um, it's not necessarily that it's lard. Um, so a lot of things um, have shortening in them, these Japanese snacks. Um, like I said, Tofu Cute do, do list what is suitable for vegetarians. Um, it does have that bit of a grey area where it's got the fish items in it, <laughs> so it, it, it's a bit tricky. I mean, if in doubt, customer service are great, they respond to emails really quickly, so you can email them if you have any specific queries. Um, but looking below so far, I've, I've not had any issues. Anyway, without further ado, I will try and open this. Without, without ruining actual bag it's so cute so that's what's inside and that's what they look like and people have said that they look like what's it but they don't have the consistency of a what's it at all this one left yep <laughs> just as i remembered really good and very strong flavor of peanut um, and as it says on the packaging, it's caramel corn, so there is that kind of like caramel, caramel, caramel taste to it. It's kind of a little bit very sweet, very unhealthy for you. <laughs> so that's the easy one out of the way. Now to try this strawberry milk. We're in the packaging. Okay, it tastes like strawberry milkshake. Just can't get over the combination. <laughs> It just doesn't work in my head. But anyway, I just that. I don't know how to process that. So on the one hand, the strawberry is really nice and the caramel corn consistency is really nice, but I don't know, my, my head can't get around it. So let me try another one and um, just double check. Yeah, alhamdulillah. I think that's actually quite nice. It's unusual. It's not something I would probably grab for or specifically buy, but it's quite nice, but just just not traditionally in my mind, this doesn't <laughs> just doesn't go. But that's how I felt about the other ones, about the peanut ones. Those peanut flavoured crisps and it's like mm, a bit of a weird thing to get over, but yeah, I think I like them. After I've had half a packet, I'll probably make up my mind for definite. So if you're into Japanese sweets and candies already, you've probably heard of mochi and these are called Puro Mochi and it's great flavour mochi. 
Oh, that's really good from the left. So they're individually wrapped. Um, that's another thing that I really like about Japanese sweets and candies is that um, a lot of detail goes and attention goes into the detail of the packaging. And um, these are great because you can then share them and you know kind of stare at a bit of a, a bit of a clean freak. So <laughs> this works great for me. But the only downside is there's too much plastic, like way too much plastic. But we won't say any more on that. So, very cute and dinky. That's really, really good. <clears throat> but that doesn't taste like mochi at all. Even though it's made out of rice flour, it's not the same consistency of mochi. Um, but it's really, really good though. Um, I really do like it. It's got plum, plum powder and rice flour in there. So, these are definitely great. Oh no, I haven't been rating the other ones. Um, <laughs> okay, rewind. So this one, I give this out of five. Um, I would say four out of five. They're not like my favourite favourites, but they're pretty good. These ones, I would say three out of five. And the Puru Mochi, I probably slaughtered that name. Um, I would definitely give five out of five. They're really, really good. Mashallah. I like those. So the next item is these. They're really, really cute in the shape of mushrooms. It's cute. Again, there's no English on them, but these are actually called no yama, no kinoko no yama, um, and they're little chocolate mushroom <laughs> mushrooms with biscuits. They're so cute. Um, I have had these before, and I absolutely love them. They're really, really good. Smile. These get a 5 out of 5. Really like Japanese chocolate. It did take some time getting used to it because it is very different from chocolate you can get from here or from USA or from Europe. It's got more cocoa in it and you can really taste it. It doesn't taste overly sickly, overly sweet, which is what I find with chocolate in the UK. So the next item from the box is these koala cookies. Um, koala chocolate biscuits, koala cookies, I'm not sure. And um, they're by Lotte, 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 I'm not sure. Um, I've had this before, you know, you can get the um, dark chocolate and you can get the milk chocolate and you can get the white chocolate. Um, this one is actually cheesecake flavour, which I've not seen in the UK, so I'm very intrigued to try that. Um, and you can see the little picture of um, cheesecake. So that's what they look like. It's the typical koala biscuit. Actually, I can smell it. It's quite cheesy. Mm. I'm not a fan of that. I'm conflicted <laughs> because the beginning was awful and then towards the very end it was quite nice. I think it was just the sweetness at the end but the first flavour was definitely like buttery, cheesy and it smelled very like do you know like the smell of ghee? Like melted butter? No, I'm not keen on these. So I think this is probably the worst rating one so far. This would be a 1 out of 5. So the next one is these ones called pretz. Um, pretz are kind of like pocky and this is meant to be pizza flavour. Um, just looking at the ingredients because this is a one that's got the ingredients in English. Um, again, this has shortening, which is vegetable shortening. It has ketchup, sugar, and cheese powder, and it has some spices, so apparently that's how you get pizza flavour. It just smells very strongly of cheese. Similar. I've had a few kind of snacks that are supposed to taste like pizza um, previously, and actually this is probably the most pizza tasting non-pizza item. <laughs> Um, that I've had and it's really good with Hindle. I would say that's a 5 out of 5 as well. Right, so I'm getting to the bottom of the box now. Um, two very large bags here. And this one I've never had before, I've never tried anything like this. It's basically um, like a mochi soybean cookie, soft cookie with on the website it says black honey and roasted soybean. 
that's interesting. They're individually wrapped and they're so cute. That's interesting. Not what I was expecting for a mochi cookie, but... It smells like a cookie so far. <laughs> Let's try it. Smell. It's too much going on. My mind is like, what? It's nice, but I can't get my head around what it tastes like because I'm trying to relate it to something that tastes similar. Like, oh, I'm, you know, had so many cookies. Does this taste like this? Does it taste like that? If you've ever tried it, it's called Border Biscuits, and they have one which is, I think it's toffee crumble or apple crumble toffee something. And it kind of a little bit reminds me of that. I mean, not in the consistency, but kind of the flavour. It's quite nice. So I'm going to finish this. So I give that the Kimako cookies, I would say four out of five. Um, so unfortunately, the last item I got, which is basically uh, Japanese, uh, Fanta, but it's actually from Thailand, this one. It's not what I ordered. I ordered the Pokari Sweat Drink, which is supposed to be like an electrolyte drink, kind of like Lucozade. I've heard that it's horrendous, it's not great, um, but it's really popular in Japan and I wanted to try it. But they sent me this instead, so I can only assume that they sold out. Also, a disclaimer, um, because the giveaway is going to be international, and open to everyone from all different countries depending on who the winner is i might or might not be able to send this because it's liquid and it could explode <laughs> in transition because it's a fizzy drink so it could it could yeah cause a bit of a mess so i i don't think i'll be able to send this um internationally it's probably just going to be anyone who wins it who's from the uk um but nonetheless i will try it I like the original Fanta, um, not the UK version, but the Moroccan version, because the Moroccan version has all the bad stuff in it, which makes it taste good. Um, so I'm wondering if this, which is from Thailand, is going to taste good anyway, but strawberry flavour, I'm, again, another thing that I wouldn't reach for, so I'm kind of glad that they sent it to me, because I probably wouldn't have purchased this otherwise. Um, it's strawberry fizzy drink which is just doesn't make sense to me <laughs> hopefully i haven't shaken this up too much because i've been oh my god because <laughs> i've been shaking this can oh no it's not oh no it's not too bad it's actually not it seem very fizzy surprisingly actually quite nice <laughs> i wasn't expecting that at all it tastes very artificial strawberry. Yeah, it's literally just strawberry flavour, so it's no strawberry in it at all. Um, and it's got all the good artificial numbers in there. They call it INS numbers, not E numbers. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not fizzy, actually. It's quite flat. Yeah, it's quite good. So, again, depending on where you are in, depending on where you are in the world, you may or may not get this. If you're in the UK and you win the giveaway, then I'll send it to you. If you're abroad, then I'm not even going to chance it. So sorry, but if you have it in your country, do try it. Um, the last one is Pocky, and I'm sure everyone has tried Pocky before. It's available everywhere. You can even find it in Asda and Tesco's. And, and because I've had Pocky, and I'm very familiar with Pocky, and I, I have it all the time, I just got myself a small packet. But the one in the giveaway will be this huge jar. So yeah, I've had this so many times, I know what it's going to taste like. Artificial strawberry pocket. <laughs> so artificial, but so good. Yeah, I think it's my favourite one, more than the chocolate, so I would say this is a 5 out of 5. And again, I totally forgot to do the Fanta. If I, I can't remember if I do the Fanta. It's 5 out of 5 anyway, I actually quite like it. I actually prefer it a little bit, the fact that it is flat, it's not fizzy. I think that would be weird. I don't know. I like it the way it is, 5 out of 5. And that's everything that I purchased from um, com. 
Um, I did purchase it online, um, but there is something else I purchased separate, which is somewhat Japanese. Um, it's available on Japanese shops anyway, and it's basically mushroom mushrooms. <laughs> um, not those kind of mushrooms. It's um, mushroom crisps, and all those that know me know that I love mushrooms so much. So these are from a company called Other Foods and I purchased it from their website. Um, I think it's otherfoods.co.uk. Um, so they're based in the UK and they basically make crisps out of different types of mushrooms. So you've got oyster mushrooms, trumpet mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, I think there were a few others as well. So basically the ingredients are as follows. So this is shiitake mushroom, sustainable beef sauce, palm oil, vegan maltose and Himalayan salt and that's the same for these ones as well, it's just trumpet mushrooms and these ones are the oyster mushrooms. Um, they are actually really good for you mushrooms if you don't know, they do contain high levels of vitamin D so if you suffer vitamin D deficiency or if you want to get your vitamin D up, mushrooms are really good. I'm not sure about the content of dried mushrooms but definitely fresh mushrooms are quite high. Um, it has good fibre in it and good protein source and apparently it's one of your five a day even though it's fungus. <laughs> I'll be through those included in the giveaway so you will not escape that. You will have to try it as well. Um, so these are the oyster mushrooms first of all and they look like oyster mushrooms. They're just very hard. Um, That's very crunchy, <laughs> um, lightly salted, very very mushroomy, it just literally tastes like freeze dried mushrooms, which I like, I like mushrooms, they taste like mushrooms, just crunchy not soft. Yeah, so far for me, because I love mushrooms, this is a 5 out of 5. So that is what the trumpet mushroom looks. It's very different from the action, which just shows it to be very creamy, pale, it's very dark. It's in there. Um, this is interesting because, again, like I said, mushroom all mushrooms have different, their own different tastes, and this really does taste different than the other ones. And the <coughs> oyster mushrooms, I think I prefer the oyster mushrooms. Flavour initially is quite intense and then it just kind of disappears and then it's just nothing. Um, I think that's my least favourite one. So I would say probably a 3 out of 5 for the trumpet mushrooms. Now these ones look really interesting. Um, again, they don't look anything like the packages. <laughs> They definitely look like they've been shriveled up and dried, dried and shriveled up. Okay, still there. This tastes like almost garlicky, and you can definitely taste like it's like earthy, woodsy kind of taste to it. It tastes a little bit smoky as well. That this is like three point five four out of five. I never thought I'd be trying mushroom crisps ever. So my overall verdict is absolutely love Japanese snacks and sweets still and I can't wait to try more and different variety. I guess it's just on to the giveaway now and which is probably the bit that you're all looking forward to. So as explained initially, um, it will be, the majority of the stuff will be the Japanese snacks so I bought double. The reason why I'm doing a giveaway is because I've surpassed 1000 subscribers and have been there, yay! Um, and I just wanted to do a little giveaway to say thank you, not only that, but because I recently won a giveaway, it was a competition on Instagram, and so I wanted to pass it forward, so I wanted to do my own giveaway and share with you guys all my echoed, um, and there's some extra little goodies in there as well, so you'll also get one of these. So this is the Burt's Bees 
little essential kit and I'm a Muslim so I wanted to include some Islamic um, products as well so my favourite as quote unquote holy grail but I, I won't say that but <laughs> my favourite um, Dora book um, Fortress of Muslim there was another one as well that I got because I purchased from an Islamic store and they sent me this other one which were free so it's called the 99 Selected Duraz. It's similar to the other one, but it's even smaller. Um, this book is absolutely amazing and it's, it's practical and it's great. It just, it just helps you when you want to reflect and think and internalize what you're going through. It's a very useful tool. Terms and conditions. Um, there's not many. <laughs> You'll be glad to hear. You just need to be subscribed to me on YouTube if you have an Instagram account. You will need to follow me on Instagram, and that just means you have a double chance of winning the giveaway because you'll be put in twice for the draw. So it will be completely randomized. I will do it on using an online tool to randomly pick someone. If you enter on Instagram and you enter on YouTube, then you will be put in twice. So you have double chance of winning the giveaway um, and all you need to do is to make sure that I know that you have subscribed and that you are following me on Instagram and you want to be in the draw you will need to write on Instagram and on YouTube hashtag ugh, giveaway that's it. I have that on the screen now ugh, giveaway so if you put that down in the comments and also on my Instagram there will be specific posts about the giveaway um, again, it's optional. So the winner will be announced on the 18th of January. Oh, and also because it might be that you don't have the same name on your Instagram as a YouTube account, if you just, for consistency, if you just make sure that you make it clear that you've entered in twice and what your name is on Instagram, um, so that I know that you've entered in twice, um, so you're not missed out and not entered in twice. I've said twice a lot of times. Um, <laughs> oh, lastly, I forgot to mention, if you haven't already, and also to be entered into a giveaway, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please do like the video as well, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything you've tried before, if any of you've snacked. But again, thank you so much for the support, and um, for watching this video, and I will see you next time in another video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.